Hi, and welcome back to Math Practice with Mrs. Smith. Hey, Mathling, did you do that? Hi, I'm back. Because there's something I've been wondering about you humans. What is volume? And how do you find it? Well, Mathling, I am so glad you asked because everybody's been talking about it. Volume is the measurement of how much space an object occupies. It's an object's capacity, or a measurement of how much it can hold. It's measured in cubic units, and sometimes you can actually count those units. In a shape like this, that's already divided up into cubic units, you can count the cubes to find the volume. One, two, three, four, five. This shape has a volume of five cubic units. For a shape like this rectangular prism, you can still count them, but you also need to know there's some you can't see. So we're gonna count just this top layer. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Don't forget we're counting cubes. Seven, eight, nine. I know the top layer is made up of nine cubes, and I also know there are one, two, three layers just like it. So there's a row of nine, and another row of nine under that, and another row of nine under that. Put all those cubes together, and that gives us a volume of 27 cubic units. Notice the little three we can use after units to represent cubic units, because cubic units are three-dimensional. Just got this package for you in the mail. I bet Mathling sent it just so you could find the volume of it. Oh, she's so thoughtful. For a rectangular prism that's not divided up into its cubes, we can't just count them, then we use the formula. The formula for volume is length times width times height. It can be written any of these ways, and it can even be written on that bottom way where it has a capital B times H, because that's what it means when they're squished together like that. It means multiply. Capital B means find the area of the base and then multiply it with the height. And to find the area of a base, we would multiply length times width. Then multiply that times height to find the volume. So really all of these formulas mean the same thing. To find volume, it's always length times width times height. If we're going to use the formula, that means first we need to get the measurements of the length and the width and the height. Let's measure the length. That is 10 inches. And then we'll measure the width. The width is another 10 inches. And then we'll measure the height. The height is 12 inches. The three dimensions we need to look at, length, width, and height. If length is 10 and width is 10 and height is 12, we're gonna use the formula length times width times height to find the volume of this package. So 10 times 10 times 12. 10 times 10 is 100, and 100 times 12 is 1,200. The volume of this package is 1,200, in this case, cubic inches, because our measurements were in inches. Now let's open it and see what's in there. Do you think it's just an empty box of volume? That would be okay if it was. That's a pretty cool gift. <gasps> Wait, what is it? What? A new planet? You've got your own planet? What are you gonna name it? Might I suggest Mrs. Smith World? That would be awesome. Everybody would love that name. Mrs. Van Balen's going to be so jealous. That's okay. Maybe Mathling will send her a package too someday. And maybe it'll look just like this one. 
Eh, this one's for you again. Find the volume of this one. And press pause while you work. Because when you're done finding the volume, we're going to check it. Get ready to check it. You should have multiplied 10 times 4 times 8. You can multiply those numbers in any order. I went in this order. I multiplied 10 times 4 and got 40. And then 40 times 8 is 320. The volume is 320 cubic inches. Well done. And maybe this can become a thing. Instead of opening your packages and presents, you can just find the volume of them instead. It's just as much fun. All right, fine. Well, I'll see you next time anyway. Bye-bye.